Hey there, Gemini. Okay, let's tap in your energy for March. Let's see what's going on. First, let's tap into the past, though. See what happened in the past. Thinking woman. So this is either you or someone thinking about you. Take it how it resonates with you. Someone's doing some thinking, though. Let's see. In the past. We have here the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay, so someone's thinking about maybe how something wasn't an even give and take and maybe thinking maybe they should make it right. Okay. Or they're hoping that this person makes it right. Whichever way it might resonate with you. There's something about getting recognized here for something. Standing out, getting recognized. It also could be emotions here, intuition. The moon could be representative of standing out, getting some kind of fame, fortune. Or maybe someone just in the past was trying to get someone to notice them in order to make things right. I th someone was doing a lot of heavy thinking about how something was not correct. So take it which way way it it is for you. It could be either be you be thinking you want to make something right with someone or someone's thinking they want to make something right with you. Okay. What's happening in the present? Appreciation. Ah, see, so someone might be coming in to show you their appreciation. So I think someone wasn't didn't do right by you and now they want to make things right. Okay. So appreciation. Ace of Swords, speaking their truth. Ooh. Coming in to make things right, speaking their truth. The Sword of Truth is coming at this time. Okay. Hmm. Someone's serious here. They want to make things solid, stable, long term. Okay. So, what is the hidden influences? Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Oh, really? So, we're looking at the sacral chakra. This is creativity. This is sexuality. Sensuality. Passion. Hmm. Someone has some serious feelings for you here. I think they do a lot of passionate thinking about you. Okay, Seven of Wands, and they want to fight for this connection. You don't see this, though. This is a hidden influence. Star. They're navigating towards you. They're, they're, they see you as their destination here with the star here. And also their hopes, their wishes, their dreams come true. Okay, let's see about your energy. What's going on with you? Oh, I got two here. Man holding a coin and a journey. Okay. So either someone's offering you something here. Or this is you making money on a journey, on traveling, or moving, or something here. So take it, so some kind of travel, some kind of going somewhere, or maybe even, I mean, this does not have to be actually a physical journey. You could just be, um... I want, I want to say almost like moving something. Um, how can I put this? You're going on, you might be doing a lot of meditating and going on journeys. And this is bringing in this money here. These opportunities. Man holding the coin. Somehow you're getting some kind of opportunities coming your way. Okay, let's see. The High Priestess. Are you aware of this? Okay, because this is the High Priestess, Virgo Cancer Energy. 
your intuition could all I have something strong about meditation and stuff. So I think that you could actually make money and you know it by your intuition, by you know, trust your vibes, trust your gut. Follow whatever this is here. Something is coming to light here that you're aware of in a sense, but maybe not trusting. Is that what it is? Hmm. A key, yes. You have the knowledge. You have the key. You have the access to doors that could be open here. There's opportunities coming your way here. But you're you're feeling them. I really feel strongly. Someone's actually feeling this. You're not totally, completely believing it. But I something about meditating. Um, you could actually be traveling for this. There could be opportunities for you to travel. You also might be keeping this to yourself which is a good idea because as you're, you're working on something new trying to develop something here it is smart to keep it to yourself you have the key key is always a good sign opening doors here it also have a heart in here it could be a key to romance that comes with this too there also could be someone that you're meeting that actually is financially stable but I feel this whole thing is you doing something here. And maybe along the way you meet someone else that is, you know, the same status financially or even better. Hmm. Okay. So now we'll move on to the influence of others. Let's see what the influence of others is for you. Attachment. Someone is attached to you. Someone doesn't want to let you go. You might be actually trying to move on from something, but you have this attachment that you feel. Okay, let's see about this. The Empress. Ooh. Okay. This could be a motherly um, figure that is like trying to hold you back. Doesn't want to lose you. Doesn't want to let you go here. That's not going to be for everyone though. Or it could be a feminine energy here. There is something about this growth or this this um, attachment that's very strong. It goes back. It goes back a distance here. It's, it could be actually a past life. Or it could be something that's been like. almost feel like someone's trying to break free. I do feel for a lot of you might be the influence of a mother or, you know, a, it could be an older sister and, um, yeah, for some it could even be a mother-in-law. But there's definitely change here. We got the five here. Okay, so what should you do? Storm warning. Ooh. Wow. With the storm warning, it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. Storm, anything could happen. Something could change all of a sudden. So I think you should be ready for a change. Ready for something to just happen. Let's see. We And, and be ready to move away from this energy here. So if something brews up, something comes out of the blue here, just be ready to move. Make your move. Move on to happier things here. And we have here, yeah, there might be gossip, there might be, there's communication, there might be gossip, there might be, um, this could be something about on the networking, social thing, you might hear something, it might just make you move on from something. It almost feels like you're going to hear something that's just going to say, that's it, I had enough, I'm moving on from this, whatever that may be. Okay, so now, the final potential outcome, let's see. Door to romance. Ooh. So, see, that I felt here, too, with the heart here. There's a key that's... But it feels like you're doing something here on your own. You're establishing yourself or something's happening here. And then the romance is coming in. Let's see what we have going on here. Door to romance. Yay. The star. See, you are establishing something here. Your hopes, your wishes, your dreams are coming true. Aquarius energy. 
and we have and this is going to bring you a lot of happiness okay let's get more into this here get a little more on this hostilities there's someone is angry about you moving on you achieve something. it seems weird because like Aquarius has sort of like the same type of energy achieving something and someone else not liking but usually a lot of people do to get jealous um we have the door to value you are getting recognized for your work here you, you know that that's people are getting someone's getting upset almost uh, upset that you're realizing your worth crazy Okay, let's see. Hostility. So someone's not going to be too happy about that. What number is this anyway? This 26 is an 8. Which I take as work as abundance. Something coming in here. Let's see. Progress. The higher thing. Commitment. Um, almost feels here too. Because this is a very conventional card too. You might be... Um, there's something that you're doing it feels like it's out of the norm or out of the conventional way of doing things it could be your faith it could be um just the way i because it does feel like a mother figure is like you're not supposed to do things that way you're supposed to do it this way well yeah times has changed things are different i you know and you're like fighting this um battle here we have here is two of pentacles trying to balance things out here trying to make things work the it's like trying to move on with the least amount of resistance from this person but that's kind of hard when they're just like that let's see here the mask is this person like he, you know what this person is what i'm what they're showing me is this person inside the home or inside a, like with your connection shows people one thing but what you see is totally different and we have here the wishing well something goes deep you might be wishing for something this wishing well is very interesting because you don't know how deep this goes. How deep is this hostility? How deep is this energy this person's feeling? And I almost feel like this person, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, is really not totally directed towards you. This person is dealing with something. What I'm feeling here is this deal, person is dealing with something on their own um the way they feel about themselves. It's almost, are they trying to live through you? Are they trying to say, hey, I don't want to do it this way because I, you know I'm living my life through what you do? Oh. Yeah. I don't like that. But you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna overcome this, whatever this is, this person trying to do this. It's almost like, okay, this is an obstacle, this is a challenge, but you're gonna overcome it. And you know what? They gotta learn to detach here. They gotta learn to be on their own. Hey, we didn't have no court cards here. Interesting. All right. Yeah, but there is. Um, you'll work through this, um, but you are achieving something here that you really want to achieve. There's like success coming in for you. And there is romance coming in. So I think that overall, you got a couple bumps, but you'll get over them. You'll, you know, I think there's something, this is something that has to play out here. And I, right now, this person, I'm so strongly on how this person is showing one face to the outside world and one face to you. And you're aware of this. Okay, let's see what signs you're dealing with. These things are getting a little bit looser now. I'm breaking them in a little bit. Okay, one fell out. Let's see. Scorpio. Let's see what signs we're dealing with. Placement your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, all the water signs. Wow. Gemini, there you go. Scorpio again and Gemini. Okay, so placement your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, and Gemini. Now we'll do the letters. So we're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. 
if you get both someone's initial for a first and last name and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. We have R, D, V, F, D, C, T, O, B, I, U. Okay, the letters we have for you today are R, D, V, F, D, C, T, O, B, I, U. Okay, so now let's do the names. We'll do 11 or more names. Let's see what names want to come on. Okay, we have here Devin. Sean, S H A W N. Colleen, what one L? Ruby. Federico. Annette. Richard. Glenda. Alex. Edgar. Tasha. Thelma. <coughs> And Lori, spelled L-O-R-I. So that's 13 names. All right, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. If you checked out your sun, then you could check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything sort of click together. Okay, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.